Okay, we're going to demonstrate provisioning an account to Google using the Amerindia Google Connector. So, um, as you can see, we have a who's who of guitar players here. So, in this case, we're going to use Richie Blackmore, um, guitar player with Deep Purple back in the day. And we're going to give him a Google Cloud Connect um, account. We're going to manually provision it. Um, normally this would be done when the trusted source reconciliation has done some kind of access policy would automatically give this user a Google account and an organization. For demonstration purposes we're going to walk through it. Okay, so we should have a Google account provisioned. Alright, now once we have our account provisioned, we have to provision an organization, which again would have normally have been done through an access policy of some kind. So, and of course, when we pick an organization, we would love to have Richie Blackmore as one of our guitar teachers on staff. So we'll add him to the school teachers org. Okay. So now if we go to our Google account and we look at our teachers, sure enough, Richie Blackboard has joined the group of some extraordinary t guitar teachers we have here. Okay, so let's take a look at Richie. His account was created. He was given a 25 gig quota um, default account. If you notice, when we provisioned, that value is empty and we'll pick that up on the recon. Okay, so there's a few other um, things we can do here. Um, so we can give Richie Blackmore a nickname, and of course we can add him to a group. And, you know, let's take a look at how we would do that. So we have a provisioned account. We'll open it up. Okay, as you can see, like I said, the quota is empty. We'll pick that up on the recon. Okay, so let's uh, give Richie a nickname. Sometimes he likes to be called Rick. Um, let's make it Ricky. Okay, so we've added a nickname. Now let's see, sure enough, there we go, we have our nickname for Ricky. Okay, now you see here we don't have any groups, so we want to assign a group um, to <laughs> Ricky. And, uh, We'll open it up again, and we'll assign a group. Now again, normally these things would normally be done through access policy, so you wouldn't have to do this manually. But for demonstration purposes, we're just showing how it works here. So we're going to put him in the teacher's group, which is basically a mailing list. <coughs> so whenever mail goes to teachers at IDM Nation, dot com um, Richie Blackmore will get an email okay so let's go back here and take a look and sure enough well I'm saying sure enough yep sure enough okay he's now in the uh, groups he's in the teachers mailing list so um, pretty simple stuff and um, that's it for the simple demo